if there was a situation where you had to leave West Ham, say at the peak of your career, is there a club that you would have thought, that's the one I'll go straight to it? Really? Not even a question. Mark, you were one of Europe's like longest serving sort of one man, one club man. And uh, you've been with Carly, your now wife, for like since you were 14, as you say. So when you say in, in, in the uh, get to know section about being loyal, I think that's the most perfect word. Like you're the most lo- loyal player West Ham have ever, ever had. Quick, hard question. Was there ever a time during West Ham where it looked like you was going to be moving for any reason? Um there was. When I say moving, there was times where I'd, my agent had rang me and said, look, there's a lot of interest here. And when my contract was running down and, and then Jack, when we got, when we got relegated under Avram and uh, we went down to the championship and it was a tough time for me because I knew, I, I knew I wanted to be a Premier League player, of mm-hmm. course. And you want to play in the Premier League, every player does. Um, And then I was sitting at home and, uh, Obviously, my phone was ringing, saying like, "What do you want to do?" and and all that. And then Big Sam got the job, and and I thought to myself, like, I've been at this club since I was eleven years of age, and uh, we've been. I say he's stuck by me, and um, I just thought, fuck it, like, I'm staying. I'm not going anywhere, and I'm gonna do everything I can to get this club back to the Premier League because I feel like I owe them that. Um, and then after that, mate, when you're playing for West Ham week in, week out and you're playing Premier League football, really unless a top two, a top three club, top four club come in and pay big money for you, mm. well, you don't go anywhere else. Uh, and that's the truth. Well, look at the size of the club. You know what I mean? You don't. Mm. Um, and I think Everyone knew my feelings and my situation for the club. Um, could I have gone, at times, gone elsewhere and earned more money? Of course I could, because you earn money from moves and all that. But Wasn't there interest from Liverpool at some point? Yeah, yeah. That could, our actually goalkeeper coach told me that, um, who was at Liverpool with, at the time, Xavi. Yeah. There, and he said, we spoke about you lot in meetings, and obviously that never materialised. But when I look back now, Jack, and I think when I see up the send off I got mm. and the loyalty I've shown to the club and um the history I've created I don't care about myself but for my for my kids and for their kids and for their kids is um an extra few grand a week doesn't it doesn't compare to that. That's a great answer that. That's a great answer. We're gonna hit you with a harder one there, Mark. If there was a situation where you had to leave West Ham, say at the peak of your career. Gun to your head. Is there a club that you would have thought, that's the one I'll go Manchester to? Manchester United. Straight to it? Really? Not even a question. What, Fergie era? Manchester United was my second team, always. If you have a second team. I just loved they, the way they was. Um, because when I grew up, Man United was the club. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, and lucky enough for me, most of the, my best experiences in football were against Manchester United. Let's talk about that because I think we uh, we touched on it at the start. The final ever game at the Bolin, we beat your mob actually, Stevie, three two. Like I can't even put into words how special that was to watch that as a fan. What was that like? What what can you imagine? What? Can you imagine captaining the team you support in that game? And I didn't know this right. I, when I was on Wikipedia yesterday, you were man of the match in it. I know. You got man of the match in yeah. the last ever game at the Berlin. And what was it? I think West Ham fans out there would, would tell me if I'm slightly wrong, but West Ham were 2-1 down, probably with about... 20 minutes. To 20 go. Was it? 20 minutes, yeah. And then uh, who scored the equaliser? Winston, uh, Mikel Antonio. And then Winston Reid scored, the, uh, scored the winner. I think it's Peter Drury. I don't know if you've heard it. You probably well, definitely have, but he, he said this amazing bit of commentary that gives me shivers now when I listen to it. And it's like, he's talking, he's like... Last ever game at the bowling, West Ham go 3-2 up. Winston Reid, he rose so high, nearly touched the sky. And I love every time I watch that, it gives me shivers. Well, looking back on that game now, what, like, what do you feel? What were you feeling? Do you know what? I don't even know what that question is, but I just want to hear you talk about it. <laughs> yeah. like, uh, I always put in perspective as in, if you support any club, any club, like whatever, you're, we, we all love football, right? And we support our clubs and it's like, 
fucking religion, isn't it? Can you imagine playing for the club you support, right? This is what dreams are made of. Yeah. Then to actually captain your club in out of the last ever game in that stadium against probably the biggest club in the world. Um in an atmosphere like that was just it's history, mate. It really is. It's, and uh if I could go back to any one game, it would be that one. Would it? Is that your greatest game you've ever played in? It, it was just I don't know how to explain that 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 it was like crackling because the game was delayed and driving on on the coach um and seeing it took us like two hours from Canary Wharf to get to the stadium yeah yeah it mad um it was just yeah it was incredible and when I when I when I led the team out out of the tunnel and it was like it was like fog but because of like smoke if you know what I mean with under the lights and everyone had different color t-shirts on and noise there's a f- great shot where there's the crowd are singing bubbles bef- as the music goes off and I'm bending over kissing the ball um, the the ball we played with mm. it's one of my f- favourite photos and it was just phenomenal is, is that something you would do all the time no. you just did it for that one game I was just praying I just I, it, it's mad what comes to your head like during games or before games or whatever but I was just thought just give me some luck <laughs> yeah know, like, and in a way, I think it was written in the stars to to go two one down and then to score the two goals we did. And um, it's actually that 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 the front cover of my book is from that game. Yeah, mate. So so. And that ain't even I obviously I didn't score, but I celebrated like I did. When yeah. Winston scored. It was just phenomenal. Well, man of the match. That's what I mean. Like longest serving player, man of the match. Last game at the Bowling, beat Man United, and Man United like. They're still fucking Man United, whether they've like fallen off. They're no, still... but they they wasn't falling off then. They were still a top team in there. I mean Rooney and but um, after the game as well with with the families and the, it was like I don't think I left that that stadium till like two three in the morning. Did you I, really? I, I was there. I was there for hours and hours because I didn't want it to end. Yeah. Do you know? Like I thought, once I leave here, I'm not coming back. It's sad to think that, isn't it? Wow, yeah. and then in the um, sort of cer- celebrations after, there was a was it like a hologram of Bobby Moore or something? Yeah, so special, so special. I think apart from Bobby Moore, and some people would argue you're probably West Ham's most iconic player of all time. I wouldn't. Oh, I don't think I'd say that because I'm. It's, it's not for you to say, is it? But, but I reckon I speak on a lot of, but on behalf of a lot of West. But I, I, I would always like. F- Flip flop between Bobby Moore and you, but I don't remember Bobby Moore. So yeah, that's. But if hmm. you asked an older generation, Bobby Moore won won the World Cup for, yeah. his, for his country. So I don't compare to that. But if you if you're talking about West Ham and just being there, and you know, it's it, for me, it's just it's different class. <laughs>